put the dog outside to eat. Nick Rollins and his family were just sitting down to dinner Friday night when their pup started acting up. We heard him barking, and he doesn't normally bark, so I figured there's something going on. Little did he know, something big was going on. I was like, what? He fell down a little hole. And as I got closer, of course, I realized this is a huge hole. Best anyone can figure, it was the home's old septic tank, exposed by recent rain and some 25 feet deep. My cell phone went off, and I looked, and it said confined space rescue, and then it had a follow-up page that said for a dog. Todd Gailey is an engineer and paramedic with the Morro Bay Fire Department. He's also a member of the county technical rescue team. And I was like, okay, that's a first for me. His first dog rescue, and it was a doozy. They said 200 pounds, but I was like, they got to be exaggerating. Gailey was lowered into the hole and quickly learned it was no exaggeration. Uh, yeah. He worked for about 30 minutes securing harnesses around the dog who was up to his chest in thick mud. I had my eye protection on, but I don't have anything covering my mouth. And a couple times, wet dogs, they, they shake. Hours after the 911 call, up came Todd. When I left, I said, I'll, I'll see you on the top side. And he did. Everyone meet Cedric, the 200 pound, six year old, mischievous master. Even strangers who watched the whole thing unfold were ecstatic. I got teary eyed. It was just, it was so happy and exciting. It makes me feel confident. If I ever fall down in a septic tank, I feel solid that I'm, I'm going to be okay. Everybody's safe. Dog comes up happy. Owners are happy. These guys are awesome. I'm just waiting to get over there and give them all a hug. In Napomo, Katie Marzullo, your Central Coast News.